In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you ever feel in doubt, and like you have nowhere to go, if you feel it like an outcast, as your problems overflow, just remember there is someone. Our good night message on this Saturday, the 4th of December 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the Word of God for today, entitled God Answers Prayer. Today we read from Isaiah chapter 30 verse 19 to 26 even though we jumped a verse in between but the focus of this passage was on the fact that God answers his people. It had been a rough patch in the lives of the people of Israel. They were going through wars, they were going through inversions at the time when Isaiah was writing this passage. Weeping could not end. There were so many widows and people felt like God had abandoned them and he was not responding or hearing their cry. It is similar to what many of our people are going through in our time, thinking maybe God has forgotten about us. Just last week here in our community, one of our priests lost his brother, his elder brother, just at the age of 35. Young as he was, and being far away from home, it was painful for him. But what we know is the fact that even in situations like this, God is there and he is responding to us. Isaiah tells us in the passage we read today, You shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. As soon as he hears it, he answers you. God hears the sound of your cry and he answers you. So don't even waste your crying. Cry knowing that it is also part of prayer. In troubling circumstances, some may sneer at prayer. When tragedy hits, some contend that prayer is a useless response when we could be taking action. In actuality, Prayer is a powerful thing. Sure, we may take other actions and do what we can, but through prayer we call on our all-powerful God. I receive a lot of messages, and one of the messages I received from one of our members is her having gone through so many things wanting to give up and saying, I don't go to church anymore because of the things that I go through. And in my heart, I smiled and said, Lord, here is one of your customers. May the good night message be a source of our strength and let her understand that you have not given up on her, even if she gives up on you. Someone wisely said, when your knees are knocking, kneel on them. And that's good advice. Yet in the midst of trials, we might worry, will God answer my prayer? because we are in a hurry to receive answers. Is this going to work? In Acts chapter 12, we find a story about how powerful prayer can be. Things looked bleak, but prayer turned the entire situation around. This story not only encourages us with a wonderful example of answered prayer, but also provides us with four principles we can apply in our own lives to help us keep praying in overwhelming conditions. Acts chapter 12 verse 5 tells us, Peter was therefore kept in prison, but 
constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. Did you know that not all prayer is offered to God? A number of studies in recent years have found that people who pray seem to have fewer problems in life, less stress, and lower blood pressure. It was even found in hospital situations that a person who was being prayed for seemed to have a more rapid recovery than people who had not been the recipients of prayer. The question I have is, who are these people praying to? Prayer itself is not the answer. God is the answer. Prayer is the vehicle by which we reach God. We don't need to be looking to prayer. We need to be looking to God through prayer. Offer your prayers to God. He hears you. Secondly, we need to pray with passion. The phrase constant prayer could be translated earnest prayer or stretched outwardly. Have you ever dropped your car keys in that little spot between the seat and the center console? They are just beyond your reach and you strain to try and get them. This is the idea here. Those who prayed for Peter reached out to God. They put everything into it as you would when you are looking for those keys that have dropped in between the seats. Another way to translate this phrase is, they prayed with agony. This was not a simple prayer. This was a storm the throne of God kind of prayer. There is a place for cries and sighs in prayer. God promises that we will find him when we search for him with all of our heart. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13, this is how we need to pray. Searching for him with all our heart. Thirdly, we need to pray with persistence. Jesus said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Luke chapter 11 verse 9. A better way to translate that would be keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. So we need to keep praying and not give up. Even when we don't see answers coming, we keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking until the door is opened. Fourthly, we need to pray together. Remember, constant prayer was offered to God for Peter by the church in Acts chapter 12, verse 5. There is power in united prayer. Jesus said, if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. That is why it is very important to pray as a family. And I like those families that give testimony to say, Father, we listen as a family to good night messages. And after listening to the good night message, we pray together. Others pray together as a family and then listen to the good night message ending with a blessing. What a lovely way to end the day. And what a lovely way to incorporate prayer in our family life. When we pray together, we are able to stay together. A family that prays together stays together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night as a dreams. Same to you, Father. Maybe.